Hello everyone. Today we start next topic of advanced web designing. Is list and types of list. As we already learned list in the 11th standard, now we again study the list in HTML5 where some different attributes are used with the list. So let's begin with the list in HTML5. HTML list allow web developers to group a set of related items in the list. There are three types of list, ordered list, unordered list and definition list. Let's begin with the ordered list. Ordered list is also known as numbered list. It is used to create the list of related items in the specific order. An ordered list created by using OL tag. Also, we used LI tag to display the list items within ordered list. An ordered list can be numerical or alphabetical. Now we see the attributes of ordered list that is OL tag. There are three attributes type, start, and reverse. Type have four values one a roman 1 small roman 1 here 1 is the default value means when we are not writing type attribute then 1 2 3 4 list will display next start attribute start attribute we have to give any number which represent the number of first element and third attribute is the reverse attribute which represents the list in a reversed order. So let's begin with the ordered list example. Let's start the example. First line is the doc type HTML which represent HTML documents. Next is the HTML tag, head tag, title tag inside the title, ordered list, title tag close, then head tag close, then BG color, sorry, then body tag, attribute is BG color is equals to pink, text is equals to blue. You can see in the output this is ordered list that is title and here is the body section which have background pink color and the text is in blue color. Now we use one heading here list of topics h3 tag close. So this heading is display in the output list of topics. Next here we can see a list. For the list we use OL tag where type is equals to A. Type is the first attribute is equals to A. So here the sequence is in the form A, B, C. Then LI tag we used list item. LI tag is used to display the list item. LI basics of HTML, LI tag close. LI HTML5, LI tag close. Li PostgreSQL Li tag close and next OL tag close. Now this is our order list, simple order list using type attribute. Now next heading is list of topics start with the series 10. Now whatever the list we are going to be start, its series start from 10 now. So for that we used OL tag type is equals to 1 it's Roman 1 and start is equals to 10 because our series is start with the 10. So we are using here start attribute start is equals to 10. Now li tag li basic of html li tag close li html file li tag close li postgresql li tag close 
and then close OL tag. So here you can see the list which is have a Roman numbers and it start from 10 then 11 and 12. So it is the use of start attribute with the OL tag. Now let's begin with the next attribute that is third attribute of the OL tag is the reversed attribute. So there is a heading list of topic in a reverse sequence. So for that I am using again here OL tag and then just write down that keyword reversed. Now here I am not going to write type attribute. So by default it will take 1, 2, 3, 4 sequence. And reverse keyword is used to reverse our least sequence. So li basic of html, li tag close, li html file, li tag close li postgresql li tag close and then ol tag close now here you can see this list the elements or list items are display here but the sequence is 3 2 1 is because of this reverse keyword so this is the use of reversed attribute to complete the program close the body tag then close the html tag and then save this program with the name order.html. So you will get this output on your web browser. Now next, nextly we move for the unordered list. Unordered list is also known as bullet list. And it is used to create the list of related items in no particular order. An unordered list created by using UL tag. Used li tag to display the list item within the UL tag. The list items in unordered list mark with the bullets. So here are the attributes of UL tag. Here only one attribute of UL tag that is type. Type have three values, disk, circle and square as we studied in the 11th standard also. This is for the old version of HTML5. Now for the higher version of the HTML5, we have to use the style attribute which we used in a CSS that is cascading style sheet. We already learn it CSS. In CSS, as in the inline CSS, we use the style as an attribute. Here also we use style as an attribute with the UL tag. Okay. So instead of type attribute, we have to use the style attribute with the UL tag. Now how to use it? We have to use it like UL tag. Then write down the attribute of the attribute is style is equals to. Then in the double quotes, we have to write down first property and then value. And property and value is separated by colon. And then double quotes complete. Now the property is list hyphen style hyphen type. Then colon and the three values here disk or circle or square. You may use any one of this for the style attribute. Double quotes complete, angular bracket complete. So this is for HTML5. You may use the type attribute or may use the style attribute. So let's begin with the example of the unordered list. This is the example of an ordered list. Let's start with the program. First line doc type HTML which represent this is HTML document. HTML tag then head tag then title tag in the title unordered list title tag close head tag close body 
पीची कलर इज इक्वल टू पिंक टेक्स्ट इज इक्वल टू ब्लू इन द एच थ्री टैग देर इज लिस्ट ऑफ टॉपिक्स अगेन वी कैन सी इन द आउटपुट दिस इज अन ऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट टाइटल एंड दिस इज द बैकग्राउंड कलर पिंक दैट इज बॉडी सेक्शन बैकग्राउंड कलर पिंक एंड द टेक्स्ट इज ब्लू लिस्ट ऑफ टॉपिक इज अवर हेडिंग then we use you well tag now we use here both the attributes either a type or style but we see here both type and style also so first we start with the type attribute you well type is equals to square li that is list item html file li tag close li sql li tag close li जावा स्क्रिप्ट एल आई टैग क्लोज एंड यू एल टैग क्लोज सो एज आई राइट यू एल दैट इज अन ऑर्डर्ड लिस्ट टाइप इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर हियर यू कैन सी ऑन द आउटपुट विंडो द टाइप द लिस्ट विल डिस्प्ले इन द स्क्वेर इफ यू राइट हियर सर्कल इट विल डिस्प्ले इन सर्कल एंड इफ यू राइट इन द डिस्क इट विल डिस्प्ले इन डिस्क देर आर थ्री टाइप्स three values of type attribute now next h3 tag this is for using style attribute so the heading is list of topic using style attribute h3 tag close now again you will tag now we use here style attribute you will style is equals to in the double quotes we have to write down list hyphen style hyphen type colon circle and double quotes complete angular bracket complete then li tag html file li tag sql li tag close li tag javascript li tag close and then ul tag close so you can see in the output here the style we used here is a circle the circle is displayed and these are our list items after completing the ul tag you have to close the body tag then close the html tag and save this program with unordered html so you got this output now for the third type of list if we move further that is definition list in definition list we use dl tag for definition list we use dl tag we can create the items using dt and dd tag as previously we see for the order list and an order list we create the items list items using li tag now in the definition list we use dt tag and dd tag now what is mean by dt tag it means defines the term and dd means defines the terms definition as the name suggests definition list tag is used to create a definitions on the web page so let's see one example so this is the example of definition tag definition list first line doc type html which represent html document next tag html tag head tag then title tag inside the title tag i'm writing definition list title tag close head tag close then next body tag pg color is equals to pink text is equals to blue as we can see in the output next here we used h3 tag to give the heading example of definition list and then h3 tag close now here we use dl tag dl tag is called definition list now here three definitions three definition term i am using first term is 
the web second is html and third is css you can see in the output also web html and css these three terms i am taking then next i am giving the definitions for the particular term so in the dd tag the part of internet that contains the website and web page dd tag complete is the definition for web which is i wrote already in the dt tag dt web close dt tag next term is dt html dt tag close in the dd tag it's called a markup language for creating a web page it's a definition for html next dt definition term is css in dt css dt tag close then next definition is a technology to mix html look better and dt tag close when completed with the terms and definition you have to close the dl tag that we start here close it at the end of the definitions now you can see on the output there are three terms web html and css and accordingly their definitions are printed over here it's look like we are using a paragraph tag or pre tag but we are not using any paragraph or pre tag in the program we just use the dl dt and dd tag to create the definition page now completion of program close the body tag close the html tag and save this program with the name definition.html here we are completed with our list and the types of list notes for the topic we can find in the description box below and in next lecture we will continue with the nested list and iframe tag thank you so much